Hi guys, today I want to show you how to unfold a uh, sheet meta model uh, in, with our software inside AutoCAD. And this is actually an interesting model here from one of our clients here. So this model is actually is uh, completely created inside AutoCAD. This is a very complex model here. And if you see here, this is actually they're quite uh, There's a hole here, so cut it here, and there's a cut it here. But this is actually a valid sheet metal model. The sheet metal model is actually always use uh, consists of a flat, uh, flat plate and the fillet. So if you see any line here, this is actually a fillet surface. Otherwise, you cannot be called as a sheet metal model because you need to bend it here, so you have to have fill it when they have then the bend radius here. And uh, with our software, you can unfold this model inside AutoCAD. You don't need to export it to other uh, inventor. And uh, you you can just inside, to create the drawing here inside AutoCAD. And to use our software, just go to our website and download the plugin load into the AutoCAD. So once you download, install your software, and then you just upload here, and then they have the content here, and then you can add add then the, the software from your installation directory, and then add it here, and then you have the command called then the S unroll. So this is actually, it's very simple to use software here, right? And uh, once you have a uh, download inside your uh, loaded the software into your AutoCAD, and this model, and then you can use it here, right? So this model is, uh, we have used the command explode to uh, explode this way into individual surface because we can only handle the individual surface here, but uh, the solid model, if it is solid model, it just use e the explode command to explode it here, and then we handle then the individual surface here. So you just use command S I roll here, and, and then you can just uh, adjust the parameter, you know, uh, top and bottom factors here, and then to text height, and all the parameter here listed is already here. So there's a menu here, there's short description about all these parameters, can easily reference to that here. And then uh, as a reference, you need to first select the reference uh, uh, plane we call the top plane here, and this one here. Then we know we can give you the information uh, how to bend the uh, the model here. So in the bend angle here, right? So you just click here, and then they will they ask you to select the whole model here. You just select use the window selection. You have to use the window selection, and to select the whole model here, and then you can hit the return. And then the results will be here. So, and then you can see that uh, there, there's a there's a bend information. The text is too small here. I'm just use the text. Text is too small here. So, we can just uh, yeah. Th there's a bend radius and bend information. You can adjust here the text height and to uh, to show then the bend radius here. So. Uh, text height here, and then we give you 10 for example here, and then see what happened here, and then choose again here, and to choose it, the model here, and this time they give you the, yeah, you see here, the band radius here, up, how many degrees here, 10 degrees, 43, anyway, that will be just the text information, the band radius here, and show you how to, uh, how to bend the information here. And the key factors here, you can also adjust it, right? And this is very simple to use model and save you a lot of time here. And you can uh, download the software and then uh, run it here inside your AutoCAD to test whether it works or not here, right? So if it doesn't work, then let us know. If it, it is and then the sheet matter model, then our software should be able to handle it here. It's no problem. Uh, that's for today. Thank you. Bye.